I've been doing talks for years on domain-specific languages, and I've shown lots of different techniques for building internal and external DSLs. And when I thought about uh, speaking on this topic again, I thought, what is the really important thing? Now that we know all these techniques, and there are numerous examples out in the world being used for real to solve problems, what is the interesting thing to say about DSLs now? And I think it's the practicality of them. In this talk, I do a deep dive example in four different cases, actually about seven different cases, but four with some nuance, of practical uses where you see DSLs being used today for external configuration, for things like frameworks, for the ability to create really expressive, sophisticated tools with less coding, for the ability to do things like algorithmic business rules, and the ability to create really, really sophisticated systems using external DSLs and language workbenches that allow you to give a level of interaction to your users that you would not have believed possible given the amount of effort required. So this talk is very much a survey of domain-specific languages as it stands in 2012. And I show a lot of techniques of how to build DSLs, but I call, always come back to the practicality of using DSLs to solve particular real-world problems and show you how this is a very effective abstraction style for solving things that you encounter every day.